Do you know what that means? That means there's only 20 days to the end of the month. Hey, kia ora. Helen Brahms here coming to you live from Hayes, Kansas. Yes, we are still in Kansas. Zephy wants to have her a say tonight. You gonna say hello to everybody? No. Oh, baby girl. So, um, why did we stay? Well, it was just one of those feelings that um, so I've noticed on this, on this, jeepers, my hair is a mess. Sorry, I've been running my fingers through it. Frustration sometimes. Um, so we didn't move on because I was just a f um, because it was just a feeling that I had. I have noticed a lot on this trip that I tend to know when it's time to move on and when it's time to stay. Like, um, yes, it would be good to stay where you are right now for an extra night or an extra two nights, an extra week, um, and that's happened in a few places where some we've extended two nights, um, some places we have extended an extra week. Um, it's just that it's just a feeling that I get um, and this one said you know stay an extra night so I don't know why it just happens it could be divine intervention just saying you're good where you are just stay there it's all taken care of so um, we will be moving on tomorrow and we will be driving I think we will in, we will be in Colorado tomorrow we don't have anywhere booked because we've got like four different campgrounds that are within the same area where we have um, that I have checked out and they're all like um, cash only first come first served and um, I think it's like 25 bucks a night and it's full hookup no facilities though no facilities so no restrooms no showers you have to be fully self-contained which is fine we are it's not a problem um, but they have full hook up there so water sewer power and they have 30 and 50 amps um, and there's like four of them um, there's like two in, two or three in, uh, there's two in Stratton and two in Burlingham I think it was or Burlington or something like that um, yeah so we figured we'll do that and it would just be a night because we're like 340 40 something miles like no sorry about 323 miles from the center of Hayes to the center of Colorado Springs so we figured we would knock out um, most of it tomorrow which means that the next day well about at least just over half of it which means the next day we can drive and yes I am only gonna do a one night stay um, before I hit Colorado Springs which means we'll be arriving in Colorado Springs on Monday for all my COS people who keep asking me we keep going are you here yet are you here yet I will be arriving is that right hang on Saturday today right yes travel tomorrow Sunday travel the rest of my own Monday yeah so Monday yeah unless I get that feeling that I have to stay another night then I'll be traveling Tuesday we shall see we shall see but the only problem with the two towns the two little towns we're looking at staying in is may not have internet yeah because one of them said that for Verizon they only got two bars and no 4g um, and there was only one reviewer that had that mentioned that and nothing about AT&T or Sprint and they these talent these um, campgrounds are in town so I don't know but if that's the case to keep up my Facebook lives I will still do my live but it will be recorded and then posted as soon as we get connections um, that's how I'm doing it and today we're at day 346 which means we have 20 days left in the month um, because July 31st will make 366 days of doing Facebook lives and that was my challenge I was given July last year and I started on August the 1st 2019 doing at least one Facebook live a day um, and I made that commitment that I would do one a day for 306 oh yeah 366 days because it was leap year hmm I said to Casey I said to him I said did you plan that because it was leap year he just smirked I was like jeepers um, but um, most of those there's more than one a day so you know 
um, I uploaded I've uploaded them to YouTube so they're under Helen's adventures on the playlist on my YouTube channel and there's 607 videos in that um, playlist but some of them were done before I started the challenge so I will admit that there were a few that were done before the challenge because I did start doing some Facebook lives um, when I bought when I got sparkles like when I left the house um, my last time in the house I did a Facebook live that night um, and then did Facebook lives with um, what is oh, she's hitting me with a toy on the floor um, and then did Facebook lives when I picked up sparkles and campgrounds and that sort of stuff so for the first yeah for the first um, hang on, hang on is it April May June July so for the first three months there, there are probably about 50 maybe 60 videos prior to that but there's like 600 and I think it said 607 when I was in there today, um, videos in the playlist of Helen's Great Adventures, which are all of the ones that I have done um, since I left the house in Solana Beach on April 30th last year. Um, so that's a lot of videos, and one a day for a year, at least, because some days I did two or three a day. And then of course the last, since was it March, I've been doing two a day. Um, and sometimes there's been extra ones added in there when we've got two new RV parks We've shown you the dog parks although the dog most of the dog park ones ended up under Zephy's Zephy's Great Adventures and we do have a playlist of Zephy's Great Adventures um, on the YouTube channel as well and All of her videos have gone there. So all the ones that appear on her Facebook group get um, moved over there as well. So um, we've, we've got the reviews there, but so how did your challenges go today after all of that preamble? <laughs> so how did your challenges go today? Did you, um, for your mindset, did you, were you able to let go of the what ifs? Stop worrying about the what ifs. Stop worrying about the things that haven't happened yet. Um, there was a quote I posted the other day on my Facebook page and it said something like, worry is a misuse of the imagination. And basically a what if puts you into that state of worry. Um, so you let go of the what ifs, let go of the worry and start using your imagination for the creativity to create amazing, awesome, super fantastic, sparkling things in your life. Um, business was all about catch up and I did get to get some catch up done today. I didn't get to any of the video training that I was supposed to do. So I'm going to be cramming that some tonight. But they're short 10 minute videos. So um, it's already 7 o'clock. I am late getting on tonight because I just got sidetracked at doing... Well, I wasn't really sidetracked. I was doing what I was supposed to be doing, which was um, getting stuff done and catching stuff up. And I got a lot of stuff caught up that I wanted to get caught up, which was good. Um, got a lot of stuff done I wanted to get done off my list for today, which is good. I just got the training videos I need to do. And so after we take her for a walk, she's playing quietly right now. So, so after we take Zephy for a W-A-L-K, I'll come back and um, get those videos done. And um, then did you go outside and enjoy the outdoors? We had a good walk outside this morning. We played in the dog park. Um, well, Zephy played in the dog park. Not much. I got these old disconnected wires. Um, we are going to go when we we are going to go while it's still daylight because um, when I went over to pay. Oh, this was interesting. Went over to pay um, for the extra night and got there and it was all locked up and so I started walking back to the RV the next thing there's this golf cart next to me going did you did you need something from the office and I said oh yeah I was just coming up to pay for for tonight and she's just like oh hop on in and I'll take you back there and I'm like okay so we hopped on in the golf cart and she took me back up and I'm asking her questions about the about the thing it's um, they celebrate the one year anniversary at the end of this month um, was asking about all the additions that they're going to be doing and as we're coming up we're coming up to where the cabins are the cabin outsides have been completed they have yet to do the insides, which is in phase three. Phase two right now is getting those other sites, the back end sites, completed. So that's part of phase two. Phase three, and then she says, so we're working on getting those up and running right now. Um, and then the next part of the, and she says, and then the cabins will be next. And I said, so the outsides are done, but not the inside. She says, yeah. So they're going to be working on the inside of the cabins as soon as they get the last eight sites done. And the last eight sites are a shorter back in sites all their pull through sites are 132 feet which is nice um, especially if you're towing and especially the bigger rigs that have those big trailers on the back you guys will have plenty of room I mean I'm talking about the big rigs um, that are bigger than mine mine's probably medium size I don't know but for the big eight class A's like the 45 plus feet ones with that they usually have big trailers on the back you guys will have no problem fitting onto these sites they're 132 feet so if you have a 45 foot 
RV with a 40 foot trailer on the back plenty of room and you still have room to lower the gate on the trailer pull out whatever you need out of the trailer and put it all back again um, so plenty of room so we we're talking about that and um, then I asked about the venues that they're gonna be doing like the outside outdoor concert venue and all of that and she said oh yeah that's that's coming up in the next um, we hope to get that in by the fall um, but they already have an outdoor venue done where they've had some weddings so when I take Zephy for a walk shortly we're going to she's super excited there's a dog that's coming next door but it's inside the RV and so she keeps trying to call it by waning. It's not outside, sweetie girl. Um, and so she said there's an outdoor venue back there behind the trees that they have already been using and they've had a couple of weddings back there. So when I take Zephy for a walk, we're gonna go and investigate. Um, I hear the wind's dying down, which is awesome. And um, then they're going to be putting, and then they've got another piece, and they she told me where there was another piece of land, which is where they're gonna put the remote control track over there. Um, and then there's also going to be an outdoor movie area and it's basically going to be flat land with a big screen up there and you bring your own seats so that's basically you can bring a blanket and sit on the blanket or you can bring your own chairs um, completely up to you but um, it'll be walk up and sit basically <laughs> walk up and sit whether you want to sit on the ground you want to sit in a chair you bring your own um, so it's bring your own seating um, so it sounds really good and they've got all these plans to do and I said oh, I suppose it's gonna be like next year before all that stuff and she's oh no we're hoping to have it done by the fall so I was like that's awesome um, but they're also being very cautious about how they're doing it too and so um, I said to her I said, well one suggestion I have with the dog park I said you've got these wires sticking up in there and they're like the thick cables with the back and I said my dog was chewing on them and I didn't know what they were or anything she says oh no she says they're just they're dead um, they're old cables and they're dead um, so you don't need to worry about the dog chewing on them or anything. I thought, well, I really don't want to get in those filings into the thing. And I said, well, around where those cables are, I said the, the bottom of the fence doesn't quite reach the ground. So I said, but if you've got anybody that's in there that's smaller than my dog, their dog is going to be able to get out either underneath the fence at that point or between the gates and between the, the posts for the, where the gates are. Um, I said, because there's quite a large gap in there. And I said, my dog can almost get her head through. So anything smaller than her is definitely going to get through. So you might want to be aware. I said, I, I said but that's my only suggestions is this, those two things with the wires sticking up in the park and fixing the fencing and that sort of stuff. And she said, oh, thank you very much for that. Um, so I guess because when, when you don't have dogs and you don't know, um, you don't know these things. So I was able to help. And then... Um, so I thanked her very much, and she's a lovely woman. And then she said, would you like a ride back to your RV? And I went, sure. I mean, it was like 90 degrees outside and humid. And I was like, I don't have to, and the, but there was a good breeze blowing, which was nice. But I thought, if I don't have to walk in this heat. Somebody's offering me a ride, I'm taking it. And so she brought me right up to the back of the RV and um, let me off and been in here working ever since. So um, did take a stop for, for lunch did have a stop for a meeting that I had today um, with one of my connects that I met through LinkedIn um, and uh, catching up on all the stuff I need to catch up on so now I'm gonna go take the dog for a walk and we will pack up the RV tonight um, with our normal pack up routine there's no doggies out there sweetie girl she there's no doggies out there You want to see a crate? I wonder if she'll do it tonight. Oh, she wants to look out the window now. Hang on, let me, let me. You're squeezing in at a tight, tight area. There you go. Now you can look out the window without the blind being in the way. See, you can look out there and you can see and see this little trailer that's pulled up next to us. They have a black and white dog in there, don't they? Yes. And you've been talking to it all day whenever you see it outside. <laughs> okay. Well, let me sign off here and we'll go get I'll go put my shoes and socks on and we'll go for a walk so we're off for a walk now um, hope you all have a super fantastic sparkling evening keep an eye open because we're going to go check out the outdoor vendor venue and we may do a facebook live from down there so um we'll be back in a few minutes have a super fantastic sparkling day